Welcome back, 921. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men and women here in the United States. Now, according to the American Cancer Society, one in five new cases are among those in their early 50s or younger. This month is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, and here to tell us what we need to know more about is Dr. Shruti Pandita, a medical oncologist with UT Health San Antonio MD Anderson Cancer Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Now, what is colorectal cancer and what increases the risk of developing colorectal cancer? Sure, so colorectal cancer is, it's essentially cancer that develops in uh, the tissues of either the colon, the large intestine or the rectum. And the colon and the uh, rectum are part of the lower part of the digestive tract. And so some of the risk factors um, for developing colorectal cancer include things like a poor diet. So a diet that's high in processed uh, foods, uh, sugars, um, low in fruits, vegetables, um, and other uh, whole grains. Um, things such as inactivity, being sedentary, not getting regular exercise, um, increased alcohol consumption, such as three or more drinks uh, per day. Smoking, um, age is also a risk factor for colorectal cancer. So um, as we um, as we get older, you know, there's an increased risk, particularly in patients ages 50 and above, and things like um, increased weight, such as being overweight or obese. From risk to detection, what are some of the signs of colorectal cancer? Yeah, so a lot of the times, you know, colorectal cancer can be asymptomatic, meaning patients will not have any symptoms. And this can be detected incidentally on a screening colonoscopy. But some signs to look out for are changes in bowel habits, um, bleeding in the stool or rectal bleeding, um, abdominal pain, discomfort, cramping, um, inability to have a complete bowel movement, um, feelings of weakness or fatigue, and unexplained weight loss hear a lot about screenings. Can a screening be found um, locally or what do you recommend? Right, so, um, you know, colorectal cancer screenings are very important because a lot of times, you know, especially early stage, you know, these cancers may not have any symptoms. And so screening tests such as a colonoscopy can really detect uh, cancers before they become a more serious problem. And they can detect these cancers at a precancerous stage and even treat them at the same time. Hopefully one day we won't have to talk about colorectal cancer anymore. But in the meantime, what are treatment options available for patients? Yeah, so... There are various treatment options available uh, for patients with colorectal cancer, and it's all dependent upon, you know, the stage of the cancer, um, how early it's detected, as well as things uh, such as the patient's age, general health, and other, um, um, you know, comorbidities. And so treatment options do include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, as well as um, other therapies such as targeted treatments or immunotherapy. All right, Dr. Shruti Pandita, medical oncologist with UT Health San Antonio. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.